Right then, you lovely lot. Thanks for clicking on the video, guys. I'm back out in the woods again today at an old um, beach woodland. So an old deciduous woodland, undisclosed location in the south coast. And I'm hoping today, fingers crossed, we get some little golden nuggets of goodness. So without further ado, let's get into it. As I say, I'm out here in the woods again today in this gorgeous ancient beach woodland. Um, I'm hoping to find the elusive golden chanterelle. So let's see what we can find. Cutest little rustler. He's gone. Ah. <laughs> uh. Beautiful beach belly. Absolutely stunning. So these aren't actually the yellow that I was looking for, but I'll take them though, because these are swamp rushlers. There's another one over here, look. Beautiful. I think I'm still too early. If there are some chanterelles here, they're going to be tiny little pins that I can't see yet. So another few weeks at least. Probably um, end of August, beginning of September really. But anyway, the conditions are perfect here, as is the habitat. So I'm going to just trudge on and see what we can find. Hey, oh, put up a shelf with this bracket, mate. <laughs> Oh god. What? This is the bitter beach belete. Absolutely disgusting, rancid tasting thing, much like the bitter belete. The slugs don't seem to mind though, look. Right, absolutely shattered. After walking around aimlessly for ages. Um so just come stopped over for a drink and just to catch my bearings really but see this little guy down here um, I've mentioned these in a few videos before actually they're called the artist conch or the artist artist bracket um, and I'll just sort of show you why because this is quite a, a young specimen there's some more mature ones up there which I'll show you in a minute but um, I'll just take this one for example if I can <laughs> it's really stuck on there I'm gonna get So this is the artist conch polypore bracket. You might be able to see that already with my fingertips it's starting to stain and that's why it's called the artist conch because you can actually use it as a canvas. So it's been used for etchings and all kinds of artwork really for centuries. It's a beautiful mushroom and it smells so earthy and <laughs> keep snapping the twig.
<laughs> Rep in. <laughs> there you go. So, actually, just while we're on the subject of the artist conch as well, it's it's not just uh, used for uh, canvas. There's a, a fine layer in between the uh, the white polypore and the the outer pith. Um, that much like the horse hoof fungus is used. Let me see if I can get into it. There we go. If you look closely at this layer here, so between all the polypores here, which you can see the pores, because they have pores rather than gills, um, but this little almost barky layer in the middle between the polypore and the, and the hard outer pith is um, much like amadou on the horse hoof fungus used as a, a tinder basically so you can smash it up and boil it in the same way and process it into a fibrous sheet that will take a spark off a ferroid and is great for natural fire lighting so this mushroom has also been used for centuries in terms of tinder and fire lighting. <laughs> So here's another one, and um, <laughs> just been working on with the the end of my knife. I've just been working on a little eye. <laughs> eye, eye. There you go. The artist conch mushroom. It's a polypore bracket that can be used as an artist canvas along with other things. <laughs> Brilliant mushroom. Some more beliefs at the base of this beech tree. And this one's a doubler. <laughs> Double entendre. Just say no. Just look at the sheer size of some of these mature ancient beeches. Man. It's just beautiful. guy's got a face. Absolutely gnarly. So I've just stumbled across a, um, a little odd thing that I was like, what the hell is that? Kind of looks like a witch's hat or a massive mushroom. What are you? Quick, in the comments, let me know what is it. It's just a stump. Right, so no chanterelles unfortunately, but hey, you win some, you lose some. I think I might be a little bit too early. If not, um, there might be some pins here that I just, I'm just missing and I've got to give a couple of weeks or um, who knows. There were a couple of other forages here as well, so I may have just been a bit too uh, late to the mark. But anyway, um, unexpected turn for this one. I just started uh, playing with some artist conch instead. So, um, 
yeah, a bit of an unexpected turn on this uh, this little mush mushroom hunt, but still, it was a really fun walk, and I'm really pleased actually that I uh, I brought you guys with me along. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did like it, please give it a little like below. It really helps to support the channel. Um, please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you're into bushcraft, wild camping, um, foraging, that sort of thing, and the great outdoors. And yeah, I will see you again on the next one. Yo. Yo. Entering the planet we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded entirely